All right, YouTube, looking at the uh, newest project in the shop. Uh, this is a uh, Polaris Trailblazer 250. Um, the uh, thing's gonna need a little bit of work, uh, but I just got it in here. I haven't really messed with it too much. I just took the front plastics off. Um, I'll go over a couple things that I, I guess was told and some things I've seen so far. Um, it's a 250. Uh, the uh, plastics have been painted. These plastics, I think, were the wrong ones. This is full wheel drive there. Um, and the, the plastics have these holes here. So I think there was a rack on them at one time. Um, and the front, front has the same thing. It's got holes here in the front. So I think there was a rack. Um, so I don't know if this is a plastic from a 400 or if these are plastics from a 500, you know, full, uh, four stroke, I'm not sure, but this is the two stroke version of it. Um, it's got compression. Um, it needs a pull start cover, uh, which actually I've got, have one up on the bench. So I'm getting ready to put this on there. Um, the, uh, it's got compression. Um, what I was told, uh, the, the, actually the person I was going to buy from wasn't actually home, so a friend of his came and actually sold it to me. Um, so he, I guess he didn't, he, I didn't expect him to know a whole lot. Um, what I was told that the, uh, it needs the brakes fixed. Um, we've got a caliper there. It's got calipers on them. I don't know if it just needs, let's see. That's moving. So it just needs to be sorted out. Um, it's got front brakes, doesn't have back brakes. Um, this is not attached. So I guess it needs, I mean the pads are no good. So it needs pads for sure. Uh, bolt the back one here. I'm, I'm guessing a sprocket goes there. Or a sprocket with a um, uh, rotor. Uh, I can't remember. It's been a while since I worked on one of these. But I'm thinking a rotor goes there. I guess there's a cover that's supposed to be here. Um, so that's not exposed. I, honestly, I can't remember. Um, I'll have to look when I get home online. But uh, I'm getting ready to re replace this. Uh, he also said that it was leaking underneath. And I don't know if you better see it or not. But there's a that wire hanging down for the starter. Um, the starter has been removed. Um, so we need a new starter. And you can see from that plug right there, it's wet. Um, that black uh, plastic cover for the wires right there is wet too. Supposedly it started leaking. So I don't know exactly what is leaking. It's two strokes, so it shouldn't have any oil in it. It should just be the mixture, I guess. Um, the transmission's separate. Transmission's back here in the back. Uh, so I guess it might just be something coming through with a starter goes out. I'll have to look. I haven't gotten underneath it or anything. But what I was about to do, like I said, I was going to replace this. But issue, from what I've seen, um, replace the starter, I mean pull starter, get the brake straight, maybe get a new starter for underneath, um, figure out what the leak is, uh, and see if the thing runs. Um, it's kind of late at night, so I didn't even try to start it. Um, he said that he's been wrapping this around, this rope, and pulling it. I did it a second ago just to see what it would do. Um, it didn't do anything. So I looked in the gas tank and I saw a leaf floating in there also. So the gas tank needs to be cleaned and everything. So I, I was going to pull the plastic off and just kind of mess with it. But yeah, it's got compression. Um, but yeah, it's a project. Um, I got the seat over here. Seat's kind of tore up. Yeah, nose plastic. Um, but... 200 bucks. Um, oh, and the rear shock. I forgot to mention that. The rear shock is good trash. <laughs> Should be a fun ride. But I've got a new shock. I got another shock at my brother's house. He's got it. Um, so everything it needs. Uh, it looks like the shit. The chain's all rusty. Um, I don't know if lubing it up will be good enough. Uh, there's some rust and some spots there on the um, axle and stuff. I don't know. Exhaust a little rusty. I would imagine the battery's not any good. Um, so parts that we've already got. We've got another shock. Might have the brake parts. Um, 
maybe just pads and figure out how, what covers it and what kind of bolts attach it. So it shouldn't be much there. We've got the uh, pull start already over there. Um, probably need to buy a starter, battery, maybe check into a seat. Uh, I don't know if I want to cover that seat. Uh, clean out the tank. I would imagine this thing would run. Um, it's got compression, but uh, what I've got over here, there's a whole bottom end for it right there on the workbench. That's the uh, same bottom end, same mode. That top end is bad. There's a clutch for it there. So I've got parts. My brother's got, he's got about three or four of these. Uh, he's got one that runs at his house, but he's also got a couple in his backyard that's just junk for parts. Um, it's pretty much going to get uh, parts from him if I need it. Um, but yeah, just wanted to show this uh, project. I don't know exactly what year. I was looking. The one that he had, my brother has, that I bought before was a 97. I've also bought a 96. If you go back, and look, there's a, a video series I did of putting a new top end on that one. The one that we put the top end on, we paid 400 bucks for. Um, it needed a new top end. So 200 for this one, I don't think it's too bad. Uh, this is... W nine six seven eight two seven. I don't know if that is a ninety six. I'll, I'll look around and see if I can figure out if I find out exactly what year it is. I mean, there's the VIN number. That's not going to tell me the year unless I search it. Um, I'll search the model number. See if I can figure it out. If I figure it out, I'll put it in the description. Um, I'm, I'm guessing it's late 90s, uh, 97, 98, maybe. But, um, anyway, thanks for watching Big Dreams Garage. i check back later on as I uh, figure out more about this four wheeler. I'm guessing. These are probably the original tires. Yeah, they're dry rotted, but uh, they seem to be holding air unless he pumped them up <laughs> earlier. Um, back tires actually, back tires have decent tread on them, but they're dry rotted also. But they're holding air, it seems. Um, all right, thanks for watching. Uh, Big Germs Garage. Um, another, well, another thing I got to do is figure out if he used the tank or if he mixed it in the gas tank. And actually, I've sent him a text to find out um, since I didn't actually get to talk to the guy. But. It's kind of dry. Dry up in there. But yeah. All right. Thanks for watching Big Dreams Garage. Have a great weekend. Uh, Christmas is coming up, so I hope everybody has a great Christmas. Um, and check back. I've actually got another video I just made of this Honda 200SX of it running. Um, I've been riding that around a little bit. Got to mess with the transmission still, but check that out if you can. And I've... Uh, I'll be making some, some other videos soon on this Chinese four-wheeler that I got a couple weeks ago and this uh, Polaris 90 Sportsman that I got two weeks ago. Same deal as this one. But, um, so I got a bunch of other stuff to talk about uh, pretty soon with some videos. So check those out, and uh, have a great weekend. Bye.